I got into wildlife filmmaking with the notion that perhaps this is the way that we can make a difference. My passion is nature. Sharing that with other people and helping other people fall in love with nature. That brings me joy, gives me meaning to what I do. There's so many viewers who do get out, spend time in nature because of this amazing experience we bring them, Safari Live. We're delivering, you know, six hours of HD wildlife content live every day is uh, no small feat. So our morning start nice and early. Before the sun's up, we're up, grab a cup of coffee and we're on the vehicles half an hour before we go and drive. In summer, that means, you know, we're up at four. Cam ops have a bit of work to do in the mornings, get all the vehicles ready to make sure we're all good to go when we're live. Usually I wake up in the morning with some song stuck in my head for the rest of the day, which the presenters absolutely love. A banana in my ear. Put a ripe banana. We do our pre flight checks and we go out there and we try to find some magic to share with everybody. Hello, sunshine. Can we please run through your checks? Lens clean, space on memory cards, camera battery present and charge, wind filter correct, ND filter correct, white balance correct. Five. Four, oh, we're not an adventure! Three, two, one, you are live, you are live. Spend three hours out in the bush. Awesome. After the sunrise safari, we get back to camp, we have breakfast and then we get working again. We have to archive footage, we, we log that footage, we recharge all our batteries. Just be better. That is our camp motto, just be better. We can always just be better. And that's actually what we practice out here. So we do peer review sessions as cameramen and we look at each other's work. It's really about the thought process and we, we, we try new concepts or want to learn creatively from each other. We have a lot of fun what we're doing. I think that's very important. We enjoy what we do a lot and it <laughs> translates in our work. <laughs> Generally we'll do a uh, workout. I feel more productive if I've uh, exercised in the day. After that, <laughs> Grab a quick lunch, much more coffee, and we go out and drive and we bring magic to the screens, hopefully, again. At three o'clock, we're back at it with a little more intel from the morning's drive. So the biggest scope for creativity, I would say, is on the bushwalk. Bushwalk allows me that freedom as a, as a cameraman to create art. You need to be physically and mentally prepared for it. You've got to be in these weird contorted positions while you operate. You're not able to bend over, you have to keep your back up straight, keep that antenna rigid. We're often in a, a squat position to, to get low down on the ground or to get high up. Uh, our arms are up in the air. We are often not breathing to enable us to get those shots. You hold your breath, you just hold it there until you get the shot. And you've got to be attentive. You've got to be looking where you stand. I don't always. I had a nail go through my foot the other day, which was less than ideal. The creativity comes down to the relationship and sync that you have with your presenter. The more you understand each other's limitations and ideas, the more that you'll be able to translate the story seamlessly. I enjoy that, that the presenters, they push us to the limits of what we can do out there on Bushwalk. Getting back after a drive is just, you know, it's that feeling of coming home. So we get together around the fire, talk about the day's achievements and disappointments. Everybody out here gets along amazingly well, all things considered. It's like a big family. A couple times a week we'll get a, a really heartfelt letter from a viewer telling us about the difference that Safari Live has made in their life, how it's helped them connect, how it's helped them get through a difficult part in time. And it's those moments that you realize what we do out here has meaning, it has purpose. We're, we're making a difference in someone's life. And I think that's why we do what we do.